Hello everyone, welcome to another review video with Joseph Nicholas, that's me. Today we'll be checking out Sardines. This is a game for ages 12 and up for 2 to 4 players and plays in about 15 minutes. This is actually a game by Jeremiah Acevedo, who is the board game renegade. If you've seen him on Instagram, you already know this guy he makes some great review videos and some awesome content on YouTube as well. Well, my buddy's also made a fantastic game here. Sardines is a really simple and easy set collection game, which I'm going to show you how to play right now. Today, we'll be checking out Sardines. Inside the box, you'll find two types of cards, the Sardine Order and the Sardines themselves, consisting of different colors, as the same color shows up every single time, <laughs> and different orders. Now for this experience, we'll be doing a two player game. So to do this, you wanna have each player start with two sardine cards. And then you wanna have a sardine order out per player plus one. And then of course, you wanna have five sardines out on the field at all times. Uh, as you can tell, there's different colored sardines. Each sardine you will be collecting will be used to complete orders here, as you see this Sardine order needs three pink fish, therefore you need three pink fish, and so forth. You'll score points based off that. So how the game works, I'll start by looking at my hand, and wow, I got very lucky there. I have three pink fish. I could literally get that order right now. So I could either complete the order, or I can pick up sardines. So just to kind of get ready for the next turn, because I really want to get a nice big old jump on uh, scores here, um, I'm going to grab some sardines. So I can grab two sardines. And what I mean by that is either two single sardines or one double sardine, as long as you have two sardines. So what I'm going to do is actually grab the double blue because I think it's a pretty good card because not only do you get multiple sardines, but it only costs one card. And why do I say that? A player can only have six cards at max in their hand. So if you're collecting a bunch of solo fish, you know, eventually you're going to run out of space in your hand. And with the doubles, you know, you get double the amount of fish for less, uh, for less amount of cards. Why that is great is because you are able to overspend when you're buying uh, orders for sardines. Like if I had two double pink fish, I can still buy this three fish sardine order. Very simple. So anyways, I grabbed that and I'm going to instantly refill that section. So then this player looks at his hand. He does have two greens, but he needs either two blues or two pinks. So he's gonna go ahead and hop on that too with the pinks. Okay, now it's my turn. And since I do have the three fish, I'm gonna turn them in, grab the order, fill the order in right away. I now have four points ready for scoring at the end of the game. Um, and this player goes, and oh yeah he can he can get that one damn all right so he's turning in two green two pink he's getting a six point order right here all right so then i go and i'm gonna i'm just grab an orange and a green maybe i can work on this order here and this player has his two oranges so He's going to grab this because not only does it have a green, which will help him work on this, but if he doesn't end up using this, he's being strategic. He has that pink fish is kind of like leveraging, so it's not like a waste of a card at the current moment. All right, this guy. Yeah, why not? Let's go for that strategy still. It's not a bad idea. Can he even complete anything? Yes, he could actually. Look at that. Turn these in, he gets himself a nice order. Next card comes out. And you will com continue to do this, you know, collecting orders and all that until the last order card is flipped over. Then you get one more turn from there. Then you'll get to scoring. You'll look through your orders and add all the center numbers together. Whoever has the most score at the end of the game wins. As you can tell, this game is extremely accessible and portable for all of your board game needs to go on the go. 
I think my favorite part about this game is the simplicity of it, but the tidbits of strategy you could find within the game. You know, collecting um, a two a two sardine, collecting a card with two sardines versus one sardine to, you know, manage your hand a little bit better by getting more fish and less cards, which is very helpful. Of course, there's other um, types of fish orders that I didn't show that really do add a nice twist and flavor to the game that I enjoy very much. The artwork itself is very zany and fun to look at and just kind of defined what the game's going for, which is something very simple and easy to learn. Uh, this is a, definitely a game I can see literally carrying around with me since it's like an Altoid box size. Which I've actually love. I love games that put games. I love developers and publishers that fit games into boxes this size. For some reason, it's always just gotten me really excited to see, like, you know, an Altoid shape box, literally pocket size, full game. You know what I mean? Uh, neutral thoughts that I have about the game. Actually, I would say that if you are trying to introduce people to more board games, or you know if you like maybe you're a huge fan of ticket to the ride but the players you're introducing to board games haven't gotten there yet i mean per i think that this is a great way to introduce them to that set collection mechanic and that will you know gateway you to other set collection games specifically i like ticket to ride so i think playing this game first and then being like cool do you want to play you know a game that has that fantastic set collection component or mechanic that I just taught you with trains and they're like oh well I love that sardine game yeah let's see what it's like with trains things that I don't like well so far everyone I've showed this game to has just been very pleasantly surprised of how simple it is and just you know it doesn't there's not much thought that goes into the game it's just kind of like hey you trying to play a really easy game yeah let's do it um and you know I actually don't get that response that often with some of the games. Some of the games that I'll review, they'll be like, oh yeah, no, I mean, it's good. Which is like, okay, cool. They're not against it. But people actually really enjoyed playing this game. In fact, we played it more than once for a lot of people I showed this to. So that's a great A. Move on you, bud, uh, for this game. Because you've kept people's interest. Is this the game for you? Sure, why not? Honestly, it's portable, it's easy to play, it's accessible, it's about sardines, which is a theme I haven't really seen before, and that's cool. And it's just super easy. And of course, check this out, right? Look at this great little collection of board games over here, right? But watch when I do this. It fits right in. But if you enjoyed this review, go ahead and like the video, smash that like button, Leave a comment of what you think of sardines, uh, of the mechanic of set collection, and anything else that's on your mind. And of course, subscribe, because I'm like four subscribers away from 300 subscribers, which is pretty dope. That'd be awesome. And I will see you in the next review.